some beetle wings, parasitic bee lava sauce, and let's see, a drop of imps tear, and then... Oh, this happens every single time I try to make rouge. Oh, uh, welcome. Hello, adventurer. Hiya, Papa. You've brought someone along? Friends of my father get better deals. They're basically just watered-down versions of Florence's potions anyway. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding! Please, buy my wares. Eileen, save your sales pitch. <clears throat> I've a task for you. Think you can handle it? What? Another one? But I just finished the last one. Can't Clorence just swoop in and save the day? <laughs> well, <clears throat> if you don't want this opportunity to meet a black spirit host in the flesh... What? No way. Look at those dreamy eyes. Nothing like the vacant corpse-like expressions I read about. Eileen, manners! Oops. Did I say that out loud? I'll just go stick my head in a cauldron and die now. Come now, child. No need for dramatics. They are in need of your aid. Me? Specifically? Uh, sure you didn't just confuse me for Clorence? Gosh, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, how long have you been exposed? Oh, wow. That's a bit excessive and likely to have accelerated the spirit's encroachment. Tell me, does ceaseless whispering fill your head? Do you have an unquenchable thirst? Is that thirst for apocalyptic chaos? I mean... G got it, Papa. I'll... Uh, can do it. Uh, definitely. Uh, probably. I've received a summons from the Grand Chamberlain Jordine. There are urgent matters at Alejandro Farm to which I must attend. I'll be expecting fair tidings upon my return. Adventurer, please give Eileen your full cooperation. Right. Uh, Clorence will be off to college soon, setting the academic world on fire, while I do my best to find a man who trusts me not to set his meals on fire. <laughs> Why was I talking about fire? Oh, right! My training! Time to test some chemical reactions. But I'm... all out of material. Come on, Eileen. Oh, I hate to ask for a favor already, but... Why was I talking... <laughs>